Perks of Being a Wallflower is my favorite band book. Yes, it has controversial content, including homosexuality, rape, abortion, drug use, suicide, profanity, masturbation, and sexual abuse. But what makes this book so special is how unbelievably raw and real it is, the way it teaches us so much about our lives. I'm sorry if those things offend someone, but why? These are real things that people really go through. And if someone doesn't think they're appropriate, they need to wake up and realize the world's a very complex and often dark place. And no one has the right to decide what ideas somebody else should be exposed to. I've never come across something that shows so many of these very serious things in a way so personal. Usually topics like sexual abuse are avoided so we can be politically correct. But I know I would have loved to see something that would have made me feel not so alone. I was able to relate to this book so much on such a personal level because I've gone through the things talked about. And if I haven't, somebody else I know has. If a book can connect with you, that's a really powerful thing. Now I'm gonna read an excerpt from page 211. So I guess we are who we are for a lot of reasons. And maybe we'll never know most of them. But even if we don't have the power to choose where we come from, we can still choose where we go from there. We can still do things and we can try to feel okay about them. I think that if I ever have kids and they're upset, I won't tell them that there are people starving in China or anything like that because it wouldn't change the fact that they were upset. And even if somebody else has it much worse, that doesn't really change the fact that you have what you have, good or bad. 